Hello and welcome back. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney here at Landerholm Immigration APC where we fight for your American dream. And uh, the title of this video is what to do if your loved one is detained, right? Detained by immigration. And uh, if you're in that situation, I am sorry to hear it uh, because it is not fun to have someone that you love or that you care about detained by ICE. And so now it's like, okay, that happened. What to do? Um, and I, I hope that you are not panicking, all right? Keep your calm, keep a cool mind, and let's get through it, all right? So if somebody was just detained by ICE, often the first question, and the question that my office gets very regularly, is how do we find that person? Like, where even are they, all right? The truth is, is that there are lots of detention centers throughout the United States, and when somebody's detained by ICE, ICE, and Border Patrol also, has the power to transfer them to wherever there's bed space available, all right? So it doesn't have to be the nearest detention center to you. Sometimes they transfer people out of state, all right? Sometimes they transfer people all over the place, right? Depending on where space is available right then for that case. And sometimes a person is in transit for a while and they won't even uh, be able to call you sometimes for you know up to 48 hours before they figure out where they're going to be located. Um, and so that's just the reality, all right? Uh, once somebody is in ICE's system, there is a way for you to look them up. And the way to do that, you could do a Google search right now. Uh, we can put a link here below, beneath this video too. Um, you can do a Google search for the ICE Detainee Locator. Three words, ICE, I-C-E, Detainee Locator, all right? Uh, Immigration Customs Enforcement has an online system where they can locate anyone who's detained uh, in immigration court. Um, in immigration detention facilities, all right? Now, uh, it's an imperfect system, and sometimes it takes several days before the person is in there. The other thing is you need to know the full name, the full name of the person that you're looking for and their date of birth and their country of birth, um, and it helps also to know their alien registration number, their A number, all right? Now, um, about that, if the full name doesn't match the name that your person gave to them, then that'll cause a problem, all right? And so there's that, that you know, you want, you want to put their full name and you want to try it a few different times because maybe they said Gonzalez instead of Gonzalez Hernandez or something like that. I'm making that up. Um, but, uh, you know, you want to try all the iterations of a person's full name um, to make sure that you find them, all right? Once you've located the detention center, all right, then you can, uh, you know, start figuring out what to do next. And really the best thing to do next is to get an attorney. And you're going to want an attorney that has experience at that facility. And you're going to want an attorney that really knows what they're doing with detained immigration cases, all right? Because if somebody's in an immigration detention center, you've got to fight and they are going to be, you know, the chances are very likely that immigration is going to want and going to fight uh, with full force to deport that person. And so uh, you've got to do deportation defense and just because they're detained doesn't mean there's no options. All the contrary, if you don't fight the case, you lose all your options. So the fact that they're detained, it's like this is your one shot and this is your shot to apply for a visa, a green card, you know, some type of benefit to get that person out of there and to get them on a path to, uh, uh, you know, get a green card or some other immigration benefit, all right? And so uh, if you have questions about any of that, I know I've said a lot in just a few minutes, if you have questions about any of that, please contact our office. Uh, contact a lawyer who's near you, who's good and who's trustworthy. If you don't have somebody, even if you're outside of the state of California, please feel free to contact my office. I'd love to have my team walk you through that uh, process. Uh, we hate it 
when our clients get detained. We hate it when we hear that people who are good people are detained and waiting behind bars for their immigration case. So please contact our office. We'll do whatever we can to help you out, okay? So thank you so much for watching this. I'm Otis Landerholm. I'm the founding attorney of Landerholm Immigration APC, where we fight for your American dream. If you see it here on the video, please subscribe, or if you click the logo, I think that subscribes for you. And, uh, and I wish you the very best, and we look forward, hope to, hope to be in touch. All right, thank you.